What's good, y'all? What's good? Welcome back to Royal Highness Vibes. I'm Royal Highness. Peace, love, and light to you. Hey, cousins. Hey, cousins, hey. Hello to all of our friends as well. Thank y'all for joining us. We really appreciate that. We keep our attitude on gratitude over here, y'all. Alright, so y'all know I use profanity. I say a few unholy words. Four letter words. Growing up words. Words that they want to. Because praise what's good before y'all criticize what's bad. First of all, let's just put that shit out there. <laughs> But y'all know I don't use my words to curse. I do not dip, no dab in darkness. I don't go against will. I don't come to kill, steal, destroy, hurt, harm, nor hinder. That being said, check your energy. Before you enter, mm -hmm, go ahead and do a, a, a quick scan of self. You know what I mean? Uh, jump up and down. Stomp a little bit. Remove any residue you may have. Uh, and I want you to come in and then leave and have me wondering if that's chocolate, if it's mud, or if it's poop. I don't have time for that. So just please leave the scene clean. I'm trying to keep my energy free, y'all. All right, because move means I move with spirit and move with the energy. You know what you know. Spirit, what's the energy in, on, around, and about cuz? Okay, I found this on the web for what's the energy in, round, and about. Check it out. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, cuz, your Royal Highness coming through. You trying to balance. Masculine feminine energy, your light and darkness, your earthly and spiritual. You know what I'm saying? You're balancing it all, cousin. You're definitely coming in with unconditional love, that peace, that light, full of abundance and prosperity. I like you're real passionate, cousin. And attractive. Because mm. are you some type of herbalist? Uh, y'all know. Many of us, y'all, we into herbs. We into having our own gardens, growing our own things, like healers, uh, growers, nutrients. I'm, I'm picking up on that with you, cousin. You're a neutral, real motherly. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Empath. That's what I'm getting, cousin. Empath. Because I feel like you pick up on energy. Cousin, I feel like there's a lot of green eyes on you. Because you winning. People can't handle that shit. You winning like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know, legal separation and divorce and long distance. I feel like you move further and further away from your karmic big onk. The karmic masculine. You try to distance yourself from him legally, emotionally, physically. Spiritually, financially, and sexually. You don't want anything to do with him. So you put some space between you two. And you winning in that. You let him go. And you winning in that. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like you winning in a lot of things. You didn't know you was in competition with people. You're not. They're in competition with you. Just want you to know that. Um, there's quite a few people who try to... Beat you at being you. 
there's something about you because there's something about your energy. It can light up a room, no doubt. Alright, come on. Hello, guys. Oh, come on, Spear now. Hold on, y'all. Can I see it? No, I'm gonna have to make small cards. These things are getting so old. Um, you stuck, you stagnant, you still. That's what I'm getting. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to, it's like, it's more like you're trying to, you know how somebody trying to hold on to your pants leg. It's like you're trying to pull away. And let me go, Pharaoh. You gotta get your wishes, cousin. Whatever you want. You manifesting. If I'm picking up somebody, I definitely want to be your provider, be your protector, want to give to you. I feel like he knows he can't match your energy. He can't match your giving. But he want to give back to you, though. He will reciprocate. He felt like he wasn't measuring up to you. He want to give you whatever you want, though. Got time. Time is at play. Time is at play. He feel like he's losing you. He feel like he's running out of time. He feel you moving on. Like you tired of you tired of the bullshit. There's no communication between you two. You tired of that? Like he, he doesn't know how to communicate. You know what I'm saying? And you had enough of it. Like, it's so childish. And, and, it, and it's giving you trust issues, cousin. It's giving you trust issues. You trying to stay in alignment with your assignment. And come out of toxic town where all those fears lie. And trust issues. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that shadow. The ego, it all over there in a toxic town. You trying to come out of that and stay in the line in. But this is giving you trust issues. You're like, he's full of sickness and full of shit. He's like, you're not measuring up to you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. He's like, he wasn't measuring up to you. He's self sabotaging the unit. I keep on doing the same old bullshit. That no communication. Feel like he, he could come back in and out of your life when he wants to. Like you have a rob a robbing door. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. He knows that he loves you. He knows that you love him. And he just then just open the boys club. He has a fear, though. He has a fear of rejection now. See? That karmic love that you had. Mm -hmm. Big on. He helped create a lot of those trust issues that you have. You know what I mean? All of the... Lying that he done. So it's like you're not with it anymore. It's like I'm not willing to, to go through no cycles like that with anyone. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to lie to me. Save your lies till you need them. That sneaky shit. No, you ain't with it. So it's like soon you spot some type of deception with your divine masculine mister. You automatically start shutting down. You start picking up on lies and deceit and and moving sideways. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. Let's 
so thirsty. Anyway. Cousin. He definitely had a bit of commitment. And now that he wants to commit with you, or to you, he has a fear of rejection. Celebrations come through. Y'all may be reunited. Y'all may be reuniting, rekindling some things. You're definitely about to have some happy times, some good times, cuz. I feel like you're about to go to quite a few social gatherings. Although you're not really with the crowds, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're gonna start mingling a little bit more. I feel like you're gonna meet new people, though. And these people are meant to come into your life at, that, at this moment. I feel like, I feel like you're trying to. He's definitely thinking about life with you, committing to you, uh, y'all cohabitating. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's even thinking about engagement. He doesn't want you to get away. He wants he wants to be. He wants to have a home life with you. But he also has trust issues. I've got people been in his ear. You know what I'm saying? And and he he yellow lighting you. You know what I'm saying? He yellow lighting you. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Listen to other people. And you're like, I don't have time for that. You need somebody that's going to stand on their own two feet. You know what I'm saying? You can't listen to what other people, how other people feel about things. And here they come through. They're third party. Listening to other people. And they're wanting to move on towards you. You know what I mean? They know y'all are attracted to each other. This person, know y'all are attracted to, to each other. Know that y'all are on some type of spiritual union, divine union. You know what I mean? So they cause some blockages on y'all. For y'all not seeing eye to eye. Y'all definitely a strange estrangement. That's what I'm getting. Communication gap. You feel like it's too much to do, too little time. You feel like he doesn't have enough time to catch you. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you also creating a gap between you and your mister. You're not with it. Like once you start picking up on some lies and stuff, because you, you start moving on. You're not with that lies. Just to just be honest with you. Just tell the truth. Let tell you you're an empath. I tell you that where you are, you're an empath, boo boo. You pick up on energy, you pick up on people's moves. Oh, that broken heart. You know what I'm saying? You're not with it. You're not, you're not trying to get your heart broken. That past love come back through. You know what I'm saying? That past person broke your heart, put you in your feelings, hurt your feelings, set you feeling some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Although they knew you was a good person, a good mom, a good woman, a good friend, a good... You know what I'm saying? They still did it to you. Still broke your heart. It gets no better than you. So I, feel like, I feel like your karma is sitting back. You know, thinking, reminiscing. But all the efforts he did. Cause you definitely, tr you definitely transforming now. Major changes. You change so much about just walking away. Mhm. Mm you set to that change. Man, not tell you that you got some green eyes on you. Boo boo. They on you. The green eyed monsters. 
envious, jealous, sending ill will towards your wife, bad mouthing you. Whole bunch of bitching going on. I'm telling you, all I hear over there in that pun is quack, 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 quack. And some more, some more noises, y'all. Uh, I guess it's Lucas, Lucy Goosey noises. I'm not sure how Lucy Goosey sound, but uh, she got a whole lot of friends over there with her, so-called friends anyway. Co-signing, co-signing on the ass whip. She keep on running her mouth. You know what I mean, cousin? You like me? I don't want none of this. Cause you trying to move on. You trying to. Know your lessons and do the work. Told you you have some trust issues. Have your spirit. Y'all, with spirit clarify my channel. Will y'all hit that like button, please, and thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, will you please do that? I'm going to take about a second. Because you definitely have trust issues. And you're trying to maneuver your way through them. Mm hmm. Here's the right now. I'm thin ice with you. And they are. And they are. You see, you already had enough, cousin. I'm getting you. You sick and tired of a whole lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? People keep coming, firing shots at you, trying to stab you in your back. Why they keep? I don't know. I don't know, cause that soulmate coming in. You calling them in too? You ready to move on? I'm also picking up on Yucky Decky. She's your soulmate, your karmic soulmate. I feel like she stepped out of bounds with some shit. It, you know what I'm saying? She fouled you. You know what I'm saying? She broke the contract. It's about to be anything goes. It's about to be anything goes. You getting that love? It's coming in. I think like it's coming in a little slow, though. But it's coming in. That's divine love. So you getting your divine soulmate coming in. Cousin, I definitely feel like it's, it's about to be anything goes. She broke the soul contract by, by, you know how somebody hit below the belt? You know what I'm saying? Attack you, that sort of thing. Yeah, she, she did something, cousin. She definitely had to pay for that. She broke, she broke the contract, though. She might get them stormy seas. <laughs> she might get that chaos of conflict back. No doubt. Cousin, you about to hit her with a hurricane tornado. Both of them at the same time. Destruction. Disruption. Mm-hmm. All because you're going to return to Santa. She won't be able to handle this shit. She's not going to be able to handle it. Because she's going to drown. She doesn't have the backing that you have. She doesn't have the protection that you have. No doubt. She says a lot of heavy shit your way. She's afraid. She's afraid. Are you trying to just move on from her? She just won't let you go. You know what I mean? What the fuck? You all in your guy's thoughts. He's thinking about you. Day in, day out. That's what I'm getting. He wanna come in to be truthful with you. You know what I'm saying? He coming up all cool, all calm. You know what I mean? As if he got himself together. But he does it not with what he wants to say to you. I think he thinks about it though. What he wanna say. He just doesn't know how to say it. And it's simple. I love you. 
that's just simpleness because you got spiritual gifts. You can spirit. Mm hmm. You spiritually gifted because I'm talking about many gifts. You're skilled. You're creative. You're passionate. And your gifts, I feel like your gifts are unheard of. They can, they can know she, you, you're the gifted one. She's trying to copy your gifts. And it's as if she's mocking God. Because God know who was given what gifts. And they weren't given to her. And she's mocking you. Mocking God. You know what I mean? She about to get that ass flipping though. She should have sat down when she had the chance. And no, she won't keep on doing shit. But if not, she don't broke that contract. So when you bounce back on that ass, that's all it is. Good night an engagement. Your guy wants to come in and marry you. He does. He's on the move towards you. Mm-hmm. You want to marry